All right. Hadn't been on since yesterday because we've been real busy. All right. And I can't really do cam timing yet if we don't finish our Jezel belt drive setup mock-up. So there we are. Mocking it up to what we've done so far. We've checked the back of the block because this is a World Products block aftermarket and the Jezel front belt drive system. And there's a note in there. Make sure you check the clearance. We did that yesterday so you know how to check that already. So we've already got the plate on. I do have spacers for the thickness of the gasket. So we're doing all of our, hello and welcome back. So we're doing all of our clearancing with the right thing. They didn't do any good to mock it all up and not have everything set up right. What are we gonna do next? The next thing is to set up our cam thrust. There's the cam. As you can see, it spins quite easily. There it is. So let's go ahead and get that done. Maybe I won't talk as much and just do more work so that you know the deal. Good afternoon, Stephen King. It's all right. Maybe you can see that and kind of see me a little bit. The kit's gonna come with two different thrust washers. The way you know if it's the, the rear one, well, that's kind of self-explanatory, but it's the one that is a wider there and you can see i even tagged it so that y'all can read that this is the thrust washer that goes right there by the cam here's the hub that's not going to be for the belt drive setup so we want to go ahead when it's we final ass assemble this what we do want to do is put a little rtv because we don't want any um oil coming through the bolts and getting on your belt drive. That's not for here nor there. Um, actually, it's not here nor there, is it? Um, I, need to do, I need to do more work and less talk, but we wouldn't want to get our belt um, oily. It's not a chain, so we're no longer running oil up here in front. It's gonna run dry. What we're doing right now, we need to check our cam play and the Jezel belt drive comes with three shims 15 10 and a five or something um, hand tight is good for now because we're just checking clearance and there's your back beautiful look at the cam see the cam moves and we have a thrust plate in the back see how I can move it in and out and you can see it moves pretty easy, pretty nice. Moving there, so what we are gonna have, we have three shims that come with it and the plate. And what you do, you put all three on, you check your clearance, and then we can start removing shims as necessary to get our end play that we want. Want to verify so i'll let y'all know it's a 20 a 15 and a 10. right now we're going to go ahead and put all three on and like i said we'll start to remove shims so theoretically we should have too much clearance now and then we can do some math you know how much we love math um math is our friend people and you already know about that front seal we don't have to go about the we want to watch out for is watch out for that keyway that you don't damage the front seal we have to put it on to check the clearance um it comes already installed on the front plate jessel does a great job so you don't have to worry about damaging it but you could damage it just by doing something i don't know all right so the keyway is the one that's, that might damage it so i want to just make sure that i don't just push this on and let that keyway rip that front seal because uh, it's not ripped right now and that's the, the difficult part. Um, I do a lot of times just like to remove that keyway. Yeah, that one just removed so easily off of this one. Because it's just going to be in the way. You, know, you my friend, are going to be in the way.
Yeah, I'm gonna. I like to get rid of that kiwi. Um, I don't want to force it in around anything. I'm just not one to force stuff. Anybody say anything? 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 Am I alone? Am I alone? Anybody with me? Perfect. Caught my coffee break. <laughs> hey, Raven. Uh, yeah. Y'all are awesome. I love the poems. I love everything. Y'all are. I'm trying to just get to the cam degree, mm -hmm. and, and unfortunately, in a shop, that we have to... We have to actually make money. Mm -hmm. All right, bear with me. I'm gonna go remove that QA. Don't, why don't something? Don't foose it. Yeah, I don't want to sit there. And it's weird that they install it and uh, you have to run right over it to put the seal on. And I'm not liking that. Um, I'm not liking it at all. I'm scared. I'm not liking that at all. Let me get rid of that little keyway. I'll be right back. You got to talk to most yourself. Um, All right, did we say anything? Any? Very cool, thank you. It's all brand spanking new, every part of it. Here's a tip on how to get the keyway out without damaging the keyway. That's a little bitty dude. Look at that, little dainty little dude. And you could mangle this all up, get it out, and then you could just get your new one and, and that'd be done. But what if we could actually sit there and tap it in on this side here It'll actually, I tried to just do a light little tap because it's a little keyway, and for the most time, they just come right out. This is really, really in there, really good. So, what did I do? I tapped in on, on this tip of the day. You've learned something today, maybe worth me doing this. But come here and tap on this side, it's going to lift the keyway up on this side. Then it was easy enough for me to come up there and just knock that out of there. Now, the keyway is out, I'm really liking that more. Um, I always tell everybody, you can be in a hurry to mangle stuff up. You can be in a hurry to do stuff, and why? Let's take our time. Let's take our time and have fun. I think in the video that I dropped this morning, I don't know if y'all saw that, and um, if you're irritated, walk away. This stuff is so much fun. Let somebody else have the fun. Don't take away somebody else's fun. Can you imagine doing a belt drive setup, this high dollar setup? This is the epitome of cool. And then being frustrated doing it or not having fun doing it. To me, I live in a, in a dang, in a dream and somebody else gets to buy all the stuff I get to play with. I live like a, I'm like a kid in a candy store every day. And it is literally exciting. When I look at parts, it's not like I've never seen a Jessel belt drive before, but I'm at awe because wow, have fun. I get to touch it first. Uh, alrighty then. Um, diesel filters emissions to a diesel engine. Um, I don't know what that is, but yeah. Alrighty then. So anyway, it's the tip of the day. Have fun with what you're doing. If not, walk away. 
Go flip some burgers. I mean, there's some killer burgers out there, so I'm not making fun of the people who flip burgers because um, I, Fra I happen to like Franklin's barbecue out there in Austin. I mean, I'm a barbecue place. Did anybody catch my barbecue I did this weekend, the brisket? What am I talking about? Look at that. I could literally probably just turn air and spin this can with just an air gun. It's really nice. Okay. And that's why we're mocking everything up now. Guess what? Now I can mock this up off and on without taking a chance. Look at that. Oh, don't touch that seal. That's, that's a Teflon seal. You're going to damage that dude. It, it makes no sense to mangle that, trying to push that lip over that keyway. Um, makes no sense. Ah, I see a little. It's a delicate seal to install, and it comes ready installed. So that's awesome. I don't know what somebody said, but I believe it. Okay, so now we can slide that dude. Let's see. See that. <laughs> Excitement there. Okay, alrighty then. I think I'm done for the day. I uh, wish. Let me get some nuts on there and then we're going to check our end plate with the dial indicator. These are nylon nuts. Stop it. I heard some of y'all laughing at that. And um, they have a nylon. Y'all probably know this. So the y'all that know, excuse me, I'm doing this for the one that don't know. It has a nylon um, end on the nut. It's a swedge little spot with nylon. So it's a self-locking nut. Okay. I can go ahead and put these on. For, for mock up, take them off and on and check my clearances, change, change shims. Or I can put a different set of nuts on, stop it, and then save these for final assembly. What do you think we should do? Anybody? 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 I'm agreeing. I just ran over to the parts room and grabbed me a bunch of brand new nuts. Uh, what is that? A little... So anyway, uh, um, oh, hello, uh, center. Yes, yes, Nylox. Yes, Ray Ban, make me a poem for Ray. Uh, yeah, he's at some of the best poems. I I want to print them all out and just make a poem book just from your poems. I, I'm inspired by you all the time. Uh, I like chocolate covered nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to hear on anybody else go. What, uh, how, what else you want on your nuts? Don't. Don't, don't, don't go there, okay? Uh, hey, do you like chocolate covered nuts? Almonds too. Almonds too. She says, uh, Abe says almonds too. Uh, uh, it is the holiday season. Sprinkle, sprinkle, come on. Can we all just get in the holiday mood spirit? Can I play Christmas music yet? Anybody, anybody? What do y'all like on your nuts? Stop it. stop it. I'm just asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Not yet. I can't play Christmas music yet. It's been a weird season. I, I generally get really offended anybody playing Christmas music until after Thanksgiving. I will say that two days I've already played Christmas music. I'm, I don't have to apologize for that. I don't have to apologize. And I, it's been a rule. I've never, ever. This is a weird year. Um, fortunately, somebody didn't take the Christmas lights off the house. So I already got them on the house. Am I headed, anybody else? Am I the only one? Am I the only one? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, not yet. Not yet. No Christmas music yet, okay. Uh, last Friday I had Christmas music, and the Friday before. So, damn it. Okay. 
Uh, Loctite, um, they have the, the uh, locking nylon nuts. I will put a drop of blue Loctite on them. Um, okay, take time. At Christmas time, yes, yes. I love surprises, I love surprises. My lights are still up too. Mm. I know, that's, in San Antonio, we, we, we call that Southside. But you know, if y'all are from San Antonio, you know that I say it with love. Um, Stephen King, thanks. I knew that existed. I like y'all interacting. That's just, I don't have time for that. I gotta do here. I do have time, I wanna read that later. I'd never work if I just, I'd just be here live every day. And I didn't realize that live stays forever unless I take it off. And I've been just coming on live, just shooting the bull, just kind of having fun with y'all. And then last night we were reading or something, it's like, unless I take it off, people actually think that's my real video. And it helps for, and I, and I don't care. I don't really care. What am I talking about? Am I talking about this? No, I'm not. Uh-oh. All right. Look at there. All right. Okay, I thought we were having fun. And I guess we, we uh, I apologize, we were having fun. I gotta go unload a race motor. So I will be back again in just a little while. If you want me to, I'm gonna unload a race motor. Uh, it's been a busy, busy day. Uh, hi, Grandpa. Oh, Lily! Lily, you gotta come back in a little bit, Lily. I gotta go, uh, uh, you've been here before. Lily grew up here. So I gotta go unload a motor. Dang it, dang it. Okay, Lily, hang in there. Um, I would leave it on and y'all can just talk amongst yourselves or I'll turn it off and re-log on. I think I'm gonna re-log on. George Wright. George Wright, I'm gonna go, I'm going right now. Okay, I'm out of here for just a little bit. I'm out of here just a little bit. I'm gonna go load out the motor now. We'll come back. See you in just a little bit. Uh, I'm curious to see the distributor. So, ooh, I'm gonna grab the distributor setup as soon as I come right back. All right, uh, uh, shop mom's legs. What, 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 what? All right, all right, be right back. Uh, be right back.